old delegates, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my thanks to FINA for this invitation this evening here with you to speak a little bit about Olympic solidarity and the cooperation that we have with the International uh, Swimming Association. And also I would like really to congratulate you for this excellent idea about the convention. I would like to start saying that I will try to be brief. Also, I would like to have dinner as you, but I don't know if I, I arrived to beat the record of my predecessor, Mr. Lemke, because he has been really fast. He has been in an Olympic mood, and I will try to follow his path. But if, if um, you would like to understand a little bit what has been our cooperation between FINA and Olympic Solidarity during the last four years, I need at least five minutes, between five and ten, and I will do my best. First of all, I would like to go through something that uh, Hussein said before. It is, what is Olympic Solidarity? Olympic Solidarity easily is an organization within the International Olympic Committee that has a very clear mission, is to organize the assistance to all NOCs in the world, but in particular, those with the greatest need. And we do that through the programs, through specific programs that I will go through that afterwards. Olympic Solidarity is led by a commission, an IOC commission, and this commission is composed mainly by representatives of national Olympic committees. We have actually 204 national Olympic committees in the world. And the president of the commission is the Sheikh uh, uh, Sheikh Ahmad al Faha al Sabah that was here before. Because of this, you understand that as director of Olympic Solidarity, I have a big challenge to explain what is Olympic Solidarity. And also having other very important members in the board as Hussein. Hussein is in in the board of Olympic Solidarity, and also Julio Cesar Magliani, your president, is in the board of Olympic Solidarity, meaning you have here many people that can speak about Olympic Solidarity, and I have a big compromise to, to go through that in a very, let's say, very specific and challenging uh, path. Olympic Solidarity Commission is responsible to manage all our programs and is composed by NOCs, and why? Because we are responsible also to manage the funds, the funds coming from the TV rights of the Olympic Games that belong to the National Olympic Committees. You know that when we have the IOC has the TV rights from the Olympic Games, also finally we distribute these funds to all our partners, including, for sure, the international federations. And each one of the international federations that are part of the Olympic program, they receive directly this money. And because of this, also FINA has an important income coming from the TV rights of the Olympic Games. But the national Olympic committees, they don't receive cash, that money. The national Olympic committees receive the money through programs managed by Olympic Solidarity. And this is the reason why our commission is composed by NOC's National Olympic Committee's representative. But finally, money goes to sport. And you know very well that the National Olympic Committees are composed by national federations, mainly or exclusively. Because of this, finally, you, your national federations, your swimming national federations, members of the National Olympic Committees, you have the right to get benefit of the Olympic Solidarity programs through your National Olympic Committee. And that depends on your activities, that depends on your, let's say, persistence, that your initiatives, that finally you get more or less through your National Olympic Committee. And more money or less money goes to swimming thanks to that initiatives through the National Olympic Committees. I believe that it's interesting to know that when I spoke about programs for NOCs, finally for the sports, for the national federations. We have this global picture in Olympic solidarity. We have world programs, we have continental programs, and we have subsidies for the participation in the Olympic Games. But not going through that, that I have not, no time today, if not, no dinner for you. Uh, finally, everything goes to athletes, coaches, 
management of the sport in general, and Olympic values. These are the four areas that we cover. Assistance to the athletes, assistance to the coaches, assistance to your structures as administrators, and also to develop Olympic values. And everything that is in the screen, finally, once again, I repeat, goes to the sport. Meaning that aquatics, swimming, water polo, diving, synchronized swimming, all the Olympic, Olympic specialities, Olympic disciplines, can benefit from that. This is our budget, global budget, for the last four years. Olympic Solidarity has managed, in the last four years, 311 million US dollars, once again, coming from the TV rights, and you see in the screen the distribution that I believe that is not the most interesting part today. And concerning swimming, what have we done, not only swimming, the different um, specialities in aquatics? What have we done together during the last four years? Thanks to your efforts as national federations going through the national Olympic committees. This is a good example. For instance, you have been benefiting from scholarships for your swimmers. And here I speak about swimmers. And you have got 138 scholarships through around 100 different national federations, meaning that 100 federations through 100 national Olympic committees, you have got these scholarships in benefit of your swimmers with a total money invested of 2 point, close to 2.5 million US dollars. And let me tell you that also the results have been very interesting because around 68% of them, of these 138, they got the qualification for London Games. 68% of this number were qualified for London. And also, and however, it was not the goal, we got one gold medal, one silver medal, and 13 diplomas in London from these scholarships. And I believe it's a very interesting data. But also, you got support from a program that we call Team Support Grant, and seven, seven water polo teams from seven different countries, seven di different national federations, they got also assistance to get qualified from, for London. And one of them, one of these teams, they got the bronze medal. It is Serbia. Serbia got the bronze medal, and Serbia benefited from the assistance uh, through that program with uh, 600,000 US dollars invested. We can speak also about youth. During the last four years, we have supported individual initiatives from 28 different national federations, preparing individual youth swimmers for the Youth Olympic Games in Singapore, and in addition, you have developed through the NOCs uh, initiatives for detection of talents in the very young ages. And we have not forgotten the coaches. Here in the screen, you can see that 42 scholarships for coaches have been awarded through 36 national federations with a total amount of more than half a million US dollars. And also, we have developed with you, sorry, we have developed with you technical courses with a total of 40 activities in 37 countries with a figure close to 500,000 US dollars and also a, a, a very interesting program called Development of the National Sports Structure where uh, this program means that through your NOC you can request of a special assistance to develop your sport and we send an expert with the assistance of FINA, we send an expert to the country that can remain there for six months, nine months, one year, in order to develop the roads of that sport, including the basis that Mr. Lemke was mentioning before, from the roads till the top. And you have experts at that disposal. 13 of your national federations have used that program in the last four years, and you see the investment in the screen. Finally, to tell you that we are very happy and I, I'm in the way to beat the Olympic record now of this kind of explanations, to tell you that we are very happy, very happy of the cooperation that we have had with FINA during the last four years, during this quadriennial, from Beijing to London. Because, once again, we work through the National Olympic Committees only. This is the money of the National Olympic Committees. But through that, your national federations have been very, very active. Allow me to tell you that 
putting all that together, I have uh, counted 170, 170 different national federations of FINA that in some manner they have got something from that programs, in some manner. You know, every one of you know what is your part on that. But finally, swimming, aquatics in general, have got a big benefit, a high benefit of that programs. And the total amount invested, uh, putting together all the initiatives that I have shown in the screen, it's around 5 million US dollars during the last four years. Meaning that thanks to this cooperation, IOC Olympic Solidarity, National Olympic Committees, National Federations of Swimming, FINA, we have put together five million dollars in benefit of your sport, athletes, coaches, and many other things. Because of this, I would like to finalize saying thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much to FINA once again, because your people in the office in Lausanne is working very, very well to be instrumental in this coordination. Every time that you request one scholarship, this goes to your NOC, the NOC comes to us, but we screen that with FINA, FINA office in Lausanne, to know if this athlete, this swimmer in this case, has enough level to get the scholarship or not. Because for sure, we are not subsidizing tourists. We want to subsidize real athletes on that. Every time that one coach gets one scholarship through that program, this is a screen also through the FINA office. Meaning that finally, this is a joint work, a teamwork, because of this, once again, thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much to the FINA office in Lausanne and to the FINA leadership, especially the President Maglione. Thanks, good evening, and good afternoon.